In this video, we're going to be covering another Amazon interview question. This question is lead course question number 21, uh, merge uh, two sorted lists. So we have been given two sorted lists. It is guaranteed that both of them are going to be sorted. So this is our list one. And this is going to be our list two one. Three. Four. So again, both of them are sorted and we, the result we want to come up with is going to be again sorted. So we're going to have our one iterator over here and one over here. So the sanity checks are going to be if one is null, just return the other one, right? After that, you're going to have a dummy node, which we're going to be saying that okay the r or the result is going to start with a zero as a dummy node and then the next one the head one is going to be comparing the two um, comparing the two if one is less than the other one right uh, less than or equal to the other one uh, use that so we're going to be saying that okay the i the element which i is indicating uh, if that is less than or equal to the other one use this one otherwise use the element from the L2 so when you are using an element from one of these you just need to iterate you just need to increment that one and then the other one is just gonna stay where it was and every single time when we are done with that step we need to increment this result or the the current node so next time you're going to be comparing 1 with 2 and again this time j is less than is greater is less than uh, i or i is not less than or equal to uh, the element j is indicating so we're going to copy the j's element and increment j again we're going to compare it's gonna be two this is gonna get incremented and this is gonna get incremented we're gonna compare two this is gonna get incremented and this is gonna get incremented right so now the J is sitting here the I is is pointing to null right and so once that condition because we're gonna keep doing it while both the list one and list two are not null. So once that condition comes, all we need to do is to look at which element is null. Is it the element which i is pointing or is it the element which j is pointing? If i is pointing to null, we're just gonna put uh, j over here which is gonna be just like putting the whole thing over here and that would be it and then we're gonna be returning the dummy dot head so let's get into the code here uh, before that we are not really using any extra space yeah we have only one list node and we are actually reusing the nodes of L1 and L2. So it's not even linear, it is constant uh, space because our dummy node had one list node and then we started pointing uh, to the elements of L1 and L2 or the list one and list two. In terms of the, uh, in terms of the uh, time complexity, if N represents the length of the uh, list 1 and M represents the length of the list 2 uh, the time, uh, time complexity is gonna be N plus M it is linear so again first we are doing the sanity checks if one of them is null return the other one 
we're going to initiate our dummy node with the list node uh, whose value is equal to zero <coughs> and then we're going to have an iterative node uh, the node which we're going to be iterating is going to start with the dummy so the first thing is that while list one and list two are not null both of them are not null we're going to be doing this logic that comparing uh, the node's value and incrementing that list and the 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 results list right so if list one dot value is less than equal to list two dot value you're gonna be uh, our next is gonna point to that list node and list one is gonna get incremented and otherwise our current node is gonna current nodes next is gonna point to the list two element and we're gonna increment the list two. In both cases we're gonna be incrementing our result which is over here. So we just can put it after this if else uh, block. And the last thing once we are done, once either one of become equals to null, all you have to do is list current dot next is gonna be you're gonna be looking into if list one has become null or list two has become null so if list one has become null uh, you're gonna be making current dot next equal to list two otherwise you're gonna be making otherwise that would mean that if list one is not null that means that the list two is null uh, so we're gonna be saying that the current dot next is equal to list two If it is not null, then it means that that's going to become equal to list one. And in the end, we're going to be returning the dummy dot next. Uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.